Hello, 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 my wonderful friends. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. This is Tanya, so I get crafts. You guys, I want to tell you about something that I did. I did some shopping. I did. I did some online shopping. Shouldn't have done it, but I did. It's Thrifty Thursday, y'all, and I wanted to share my finds. I'm so excited. So I found... I think I did a um, I did a share from Redeemable Junk previously. She is on Etsy, as well as um, she's got Facebook groups. So I found some more goodies, you guys, and um, I found from her, and then I also got some from Craigslist. My new friend Julia, Miss Julia, has some amazing things that she is offering on Craigslist as well. So I wanted to go through these very quickly and show you some of the gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous finds I found. I'm going to start right here because these are one of my favorite. These are from Redeemable Junk. This pile is from Redeemable Junk, and I'll show you the rest from Julia. Excuse me in a bit. I don't know what these are, if they're ads, if they're an old kind of business card, but you guys, aren't these amazing? These are going to make such great printables, digitals. I cannot wait to play with them. Look, this a sewing machine. A sewing machine to add. Isn't that awesome? These are all on card. It's a physical delicious drink. So I'm going to kind of go through them quickly. There's a lot of them. And I just sat and just oohed and awed over so many of these. And they're just so much fun. This one looks just like a, like a gift tag or something that was put in there. Look at puppies. How cute. But I really want to make some fun things with these. Boots, shoes, and rubbers. Guys. This one I love. I love the art on here. There's a horse there. Beautiful cottages. The windmill. The whole thing. Look at this ad on the back. Reynolds Brothers. J.B. Fargo. Huh. This one, this is pretty cool. Look, it's like a chariot, and there the butterflies are pulling the chariot, and the little cherub is on there. It's for perfume. Oh, sorry, Dr. Price's cream baking powder, but it looks like perfumers, steel and price perfumers. Maybe they did other things too. I don't know. Sewing machine, sewing machine. There's a kitty and a doggy. Singer. There's an elephant. This is for suspenders. Look at they're hanging this, the elephant with suspenders. Little ladies with their tonic. Corsets. It's a corset ad. Isn't that amazing? There's some peas, some vegetables, furniture. You guys see how beautiful these are? I just cannot believe the art. Nose to the grindstone. Maybe that's where that saying comes from. Let's see, address on stone. Convincing an unbeliever that the barrier is the keenest grindstone grit. <laughs> okay. Such cool art. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? It's gorgeous. Eggs of Red Star, maybe. This one's so beat up. I love it. For shoes. This one looks like a mermaid. Maybe. Look at all the sea animals. That would make a really fun digital, wouldn't it? <gasps> I want to do another beach one. That would be fun in there. Sewing machines. This one is for hair products. That monkey reminds me of the Wizard of Oz. Photographer. Look at that cat. These are just so fun. I want to get some more. I definitely want to get some more. Self-adjusting corsets. 
There's some kitty cats. He caught a rat. He's using his little horn. There's a tailor, so that's a good one for a sewing theme. Thurber's Electra for washing fine fabric. So, sewing machine? Or a cleaning and polish. Scouring, cleaning, and polish. Lord, what is life? Wisdom is better than... I don't know. Just really beautiful. The horses and the carriages. There's a train up here. That's kind of neat. This one is for German... Don't know. The only word I can read is German. I don't know what that says. a bridge. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Organs. A kitty and a parrot. Or is that a vulture? I'm not sure. That could be a vult. No, it looks like a parrot. And look, the duck is getting the food underneath. <laughs> Beautiful. That's Detroit, Michigan. It says Diamond Merchants. These pigs were wishing they could fly. Look here upon this picture and on this, the counterfeit presentment of two cherubs. See what a beauty lights up both their faces as in the title each his fortune traces. Hamlet. Domestic sewing machine. Is this one folded? It is folded. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even see that. Neat. New home of Perry Pictures. Oh, this is the second half of that other one. So they used the other piece. Statue of Charles the Great. France. Capital. And last but not least, this is a puzzle why white borax soap makes the clothes so white and washing so easy. This is a puzzle card. It says find two leopard heads, a tiger, a head, rhinoceros, hippopotamus, clown, parrot, owl, alligator head, frog, Chinese giant, and where is the clown of the circus? I see one head here. Here's a giant. Um, I see another head here maybe. There's a tiger head, and it looks like something there. Really neat. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I said I'd go through them quickly. I get very distracted by them. Aren't they beautiful? They are so beautiful. So I'm super excited to have those. I will be doing some fun things with those. No doubt there will be some scanning involved, as well as some digitals. Because, yeah, of course. And then I've got a, it says Common Sense Traveler's Expense Book. This is really neat. There's nothing in it. Uh, I'm copyright 1940. Common Sense Traveler Expense Book. And it's empty. It's blank. How to use this book. Isn't that cool? So cool. Streetcar and taxi postage. So you put the amounts at first day of what the date is. Then we've got the horse owner's friend. This is going to be fantastic for my um, to dealer in drugs, medicines, and chemicals, and fine toilet soaps. This is going to be fantastic for my horse journal. Look at his face. Doesn't that remind you of a Tim Holtz stamp? Uh, it does me. And then it's weird because half of it is this way. So it's right side up. It's got the animals cool animals and then you flip it over and we've got the Herrick's Almanac from 1883 where we've got the rest of the stuff we've got painkilling medicines magic oils some really cool ads there works like a charm it says 1883 so very very neat books that's that one. 
Then I got this women's bathing and swimming costumes in the United States. This is a Smithsonian book. And let's see if there's a date in it. I don't remember if there is. Let's see here. 1968, 1969, it looks like somebody's library. They took it out of the library in 2023. Look at those bathing suits, isn't that fun? These are going to be great to use in a beach journal. Look at that bathing suit. And beach shoes, bathing shoes it says. Aren't they amazing? It's glossy paper, but it's really, really cool. Some of the drawings, some of the art is really fun. There's the bathing hat. Can you imagine being out in the sun and the waves in that dress thing, smock? 1855. That's a bathing dress from 1855. I drown in all that fabric. My goodness. I can't even imagine. Look at them all dressed in, all the way up to their necks. It was a different time, that's for sure, but I just don't know how you'd swim like that. Or not get heat stroke. My goodness. All right, so that's pretty cool. And then I got these. These are the Youth's Companion. I won't go all the way through these, but these are pretty cool. May 1916. Look at this beautiful photo. I, I don't know how to say it, he began awkwardly. If you hadn't done what you did, he shuddered. <laughs> so there's obviously some stories in here, some great photos. There's some cool ads in here. Look at this buggy. Really cool photos. Look at that. So lots of lots to look at here. Old bicycle ads over here. So I'm excited to look through these some more. I'm sure I'll be using sorry about that using those and then this one too this is the youth companion new england edition so there's a family reunion here and a home look at that beautiful beautiful home i wonder where that one's located this was from 1906 oops i just tore it a little bit these beautiful ladies lots of drawings poisonous mushroom there's a story by by annie oaks Huntington about poisonous mushrooms. That would be interesting to read. Physicians on their fees. I bet they just roll over if they knew it. Our physicians charge us now, huh? Oh man, still equally expensive. All right, and then I got some photographs. Now these are really cool too. And this is all just from Redeemable Junk, guys. That's what her shop is called, by the way. I'm not calling it Redeemable Junk. That's what her shop is called, Redeemable Junk on Etsy. Look at this gorgeous wedding photo. Look at that. Isn't she stunning? Those beautiful flowers. Love her style. And then this one. This is a 15th annual convention at a Kentucky Hotel Association. I think this is a fun one because they look like they're having a good time, actually. And look, they're, she's pointing at somebody and her face is blurred because she moved. These guys are all looking around. They just look like they're having a good time. Look at this fun one. I don't know what that is. I'd be curious to know if anybody knows what that means. I'd be curious to find out. But don't these gentlemen look handsome? They're all in their suits. And then we've got this, what looks like a wedding photo as well. I don't think it's the same person. Nope, different lady. She's wearing a different hat. I'm assuming this must be the bride, bridesmaid and best man, maybe. I'm just guessing. I don't know. There's nothing that says. And this handsome young man. Looks like he might have blue eyes. I wonder if it says anything on the back. No, it's glued down. 
really cool. Look at these guys. I love this photo. Absolutely love this photo. I can only imagine. I keep thinking maybe this is a like a quartet, like a men's uh, men's choir or something. But then I'm thinking maybe it's just a group of, of salesmen <laughs> reaching out, giving you that handshake. I don't know what it is. I love it. I absolutely love this photo. Aren't they great? It just makes me wonder who these fellas are. <laughs> Here's another wedding photo. And this is, a, this is a different people all together. I'm assuming it's a wedding. Again, nothing on the back. And then we've got these beautiful ladies. Now this picture is chopped in half, so I'm curious what was over here. I don't know. She blurred. She must have moved. I'd be real curious to see the other half of the photo, though. It's neat. And then this one, I was really annoyed because it had... Now, I didn't buy it for this or, or get this pack for it. I didn't know which pictures I'd be getting. But I was kind of bummed to see all these lines on here until I realized what this was. And it says, immediately after our audience wished the Pope, August 1925... And uh, a Vatican library in Pope Damascus Court, something like that. And then when you flip it over, it's got the names of the people, you guys. Isn't that cool? It tells you where they're standing. So it's like second row, third row. So they've got it marked out so you can see who's who. I mean... It's still a bummer that it took from the picture, but it's really cool to ha actually have names with the photo. It's really neat. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet, but I really think that's kind of a neat thing. So anyway, that was from that one. I'm like waiting for somebody to tell me something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything more about it, but pretty, pretty darn cool. All right, so that was from that one. Now, Julia is my new my new friend on Craigslist, and she had this tin photo. It's tin, and it's on a wood frame attached to this wood frame. I'm sorry for the glare. Let me see if I can get the camera up so you can see their faces a little better. Isn't there, aren't they cute? And then um, it's just, it's um, this is going to be hung somewhere in my house because I don't want to mess it up. But isn't that really neat? I might have to, I might try to freshen up a little at least, but it looks like it's been, been through some things. But I'm really excited about that. So that's one of those things from her. And I got a whole, oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting this. This is, hands down, this is probably my favorite thing from her altogether. And you'd probably guess differently if you saw, when you see all the amazing things that she sent. You probably wouldn't think this is it, but it is. Look at this. This is somebody's actual... Can you guys see those? It's their actual recipe cards. And I just cannot believe these are handwritten. They taped ads on here. I haven't taken... Let's take the rubber band off. I, I don't want to take the rubber band off, but we're going to. Um, and I don't want to mix them up either, so I'm going to kind of keep them... But I haven't taken that off yet. I haven't really looked, so we're just going to kind of caramel cake and filling yum but there's um peach velvet upside down cake oh. somebody must have loved these recipes to have gone to this much work see over for filling so lane cake and then the filling is on the back so they typed them there's handwriting there's staples there's just Oops, that one went that way. See, I'm already mixing it up. Raisin filling. Let's just take a stack. White cake. Look at, at paper or articles from the magazines. This is somebody's hard work. Dump cake. Crushed pineapple, grated coconut. That sounds like a cake that we made when we were younger. Fudge ribbon cake. Amazing, right? They've got just cutouts from their magazines. or the, That's probably from a box. And she wrote, good. <laughs> Somebody did. 
It's got names of people in there. It's their recipe probably. And then they hand wrote on the back. Is this not the most amazing find ever? I love this so much. And Miss Julia, if you're watching this, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I adore this in particular, along with all the other things. Look at this cool paper clip. I don't think I've seen one like that. Jam cake. There's another jam cake. Apple cakes. It's just like all the cakes. There's pies. Pun is that punch wine? Christmas punch. Fruit punch. Dandelion wine. What? Four quarts of dandelions, one gallon boiling water. Let stand two days and strain. Then heat with four pounds sugar, juice, four lemons, oranges. Let cool overnight. Add two cakes of yeast and stand six weeks. Well, I'd be curious about that. There's another dandelion wine. Pickles and chow chow. Ooh, pickled peaches. We got bread and butter pickles. I love pickles. Pickled okra. Ooh, yummy. French toast, pork chops, lots of different things. Meats, chickens, salads, dressings. We get a little slim down here. They must have loved to bake and not so much the dinners. <laughs> There's nothing down here. Ice creams, eggnogs, custards. Oh, I absolutely adore this. Absolutely adore this. Um, I don't know if I want to add this to my own recipe box. I probably do. Or do something with it for journals, but maybe a combination. We will see. We will see. I haven't decided to take it apart yet. I'm just kind of loving on these things for a little bit yet because there's just so much goodness. So I'll kind of go through these quickly. These are really, really cool. There's lots of photos. Um, how to enjoy and use your Bendix automated, automatic home freezer. Tasty dishes. Look at that picture. Look at her picture. Microwave magic. Remember when we just got our microwaves and all the things we, we were hoping we would be able to do? And we still really don't use them for a lot of these things. We found that, you know, the stove actually works better on a lot of it. Heritage recipes. I lot of, liked a lot of these. I love the pictures in here. Garlic fried chicken. Oh, that sounds so fantastic. Um, a lot of these are regional. So it's like they're Alabama or Southern based, which I thought was really neat. Uh, look at the biscuits and gravy. Ah. And then she wrote on this one for me. Um, this was her uh, home economic teacher's. Uh, let's see, this book was sold as a fundraiser for Alabama home economics classes in the late 60s. And she says her teacher, Martha Berryhill, has one of her recipes in the book. And so she shared this with me. And she said she's got uh, multiples. She's got duplicates of the, some of these books too, including this one, Hershey Pie. And um, so she shared them with me. So I just, I love this. This one in particular will be going into my own into my own collect, excuse me, collection, along with several of these. But I absolutely adore this. And I love that she took the time to tell me, to give me the note. This one will probably go in my recipes too, because my grandmother was a cake decorator. And this reminds me of, um, of her for sure. She might have even had this book because I feel like I've seen it before. And I just, I adore this. So those will be going into my, my own collection for sure. So look at this, but some of these I want to scan and, um, or, you know, I don't know, but there's also little recipes tucked in from time to time. There's something, bacon and potato salad, peanut banana bread. So there's just some really, really wonderful things. There's more, you guys. There's so much more. Um, this book is full. And then we'll, I'll show you the linens that she said. Oh my goodness. Food freezing facts. We won't go through all of them. Kitchen tested, flavor perfect recipes. Here's one of those that I was talking about. Treasury of Best Loved Alabama Peanut Recipes. What? I don't know. I'm going to have to look through these because I love peanuts and peanut butter. So, Except boiled peanuts. I think that's odd. The texture is just really, really odd to me. I don't understand boiled peanuts. Spiced peanuts, fudge, ice cream. This one will probably go in my, my personal collection as well. There's some... Looks like some pages got stuck together. Look at those cakes. Just so neat. There's handwritten stuff in here, little notes. 
wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I love the drawings of the fish. This is really cool. Black and white photos aren't very delicious, are they? But they're cool. You know, that's just how it was in that time. How to make jellies and jams. Preserves at home. This one probably also go in my collection. Love this. Jams and jellies. Carefree. Although I don't eat much jams. Well, maybe I would if I made them. Carefree cooking electrically. What? So you know this one's been around a minute. They're all, it's all messed up back here at the end. And, um... Yeah, definitely been used. Love that. Home freezing. This is from Alabama also. Home freezing of fruits and vegetables. So, I mean, some of these are very regional. Staunch friends for today's kitchen. So, lots of really cool things. Cookie collections from Crisco. Southern Living Cooking School. Super awesome, super awesome, super awesome. And then let's see, there's a few more of these. I'm trying to go through them quickly so I don't bore you guys. I could sit down and look at these for hours. Deep dish, or uh, favorite recipes of the Deep South Meats Edition. I will definitely be using, looking and using this one. Look at this back of this picture. Gorgeous home. Really, really cool. Different things. Fish chowder. Easy hash, Tabasco chili, beef stew, molded tuna loaf. I might skip that one. I might, yeah. Yeah, probably. You never know. Who knows? Maybe I'll try it. If I do, I'll let you guys know. Then we've got family fair food management and recipes. Lots of snaps, lemon filling. Really, really cool, right? Very excited. Freezer recipes. Remember how there used to be recipe books with everything? Cremets, pasta. Look at that. That's Snurganoff. Rouladen with noodles. Is that how you say that? Rouladen? Elegant and inexpensive. Penny pinching salads. Yeah, some of these look much better than others, as usual. Metropolitan cookbook. And then there's, you know, one-off little tuck-ins here and there. So that's kind of neat. We got Spam Cookbook. This one I might share. I might just share this one. <laughs> I'm not a Spam fan, but I love the book. It's it's really cool. It's really neat. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I could become a Spam fan. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, if it was done right, I might. I might like it. I've just had it out of the can, you know, when my mom used to give it to me when I was a kid. And I, don't know, I just didn't care for that too much. I think she fried it up in a little pineapple juice or something crazy. So, really cool pictures in this one as well. We've got Ball Blue Book, Home Canning, and Freezing Recipes and Methods. I really liked, there were some really cool pictures in this one too. Like this. I love this. The illustrations. So there's some really fun pages in here. There's half notes in here. Um, look at that. We used to do a lot of canning when I was younger. Of course, we lived in the middle of the, the country, so we had fruit trees everywhere. Our homes were, wherever we lived, we were surrounded by fruit trees uh, as we were farmers. But, um, you know, it was easy to get our hand on, hands on the, the fruit that couldn't be sold. We'd get the coals and bring them home and make jams and jellies and can them for the winter. So we always had that kind of stuff around. I'm excited about this one too because there's probably some great uh, bread recipes in there. How to save money on meat. So this is kind of a, a really cool thing. Freezing and how to make different meats and cuts and stuff. Old fashioned recipes. new. I have something similar. I might have this one. I love that. Foods with a Flair Cookbook by Birmingham News, Post-Herald. Really cool. Fashions and Foods Recipe Book by the Birmingham News. Really awesome. Look at her glove. Like she'd be fancy. And I love this because, look, she's dressed up all fancy in the middle of to cook in liquid, to pan fry, to roast. <laughs> and they're all dressed up ready to go out to the ball. <laughs> look at her high heels. <laughs> They're really trying to make it look elegant. Look, the Vogue in veal. 
And she's all fancy. Look at that sparkling recipes. Pecan pie, four o'clock cookies. My goodness. Adventures in cooking with Lustercraft. So this must have been a cookware company that put this one out. No doubt this was tucked into the box of cookware. Look at those pages though. Isn't that fun? I'm trying to make cauliflower look elegant. There's your cuts of beef and pork or whatever. Really neat. There's their cookware. All right. So those are the cookbooks, you guys. Let me move these over really quick. I want to show you the linens. I'm going to try to go through them quickly, too, because there's a lot. She told me how many there were, but I think she might have thrown in some extras. And she left me a note in there, too, well, thanking me for coming by her home and purchasing from her. So she was just such the sweetest lady. I just, I just wanted a hug her. And she even folded these in tissue. She put tissue in the bottom of the bag and tissue on the top of the bag to protect them. She may have even washed and ironed these. I'm not certain. My cat slipped on that one. Which needs to... I need to check on that because he drooled on it. My kitty drooled on it. I'm going to have to wash that one because that wasn't like that. So some of them are stained, but that was not there. So that one, beautiful purple. We've got some blue. And there's hand crocheting on here. They're just, I love them, little doilies. We've got beautiful doilies. Look at this one. This one was printed on. And it's been hand crocheted around the little, around the, the handkerchief. This is going to be so pretty. I was thinking this might be great inside of a journal. It's got a, a hole right here, but that's okay. That's okay. I can work around that. I'm not worried about it. In fact, I think it kind of looks cute. Maybe even like a Christmas party kind of thing. Like maybe she's hanging the bow or something. I don't know. But that one's going to be something special. I'm, I'm sure of it. We've got some, some plain white hankies. There's some pink pink threads around this one. And that one's plain white too. So there's just some white ones too, which is nice. This is gorgeous. I love this lace. So, so pretty. I'm not sure if it goes this way or this way. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I think it goes this way. Because that outlines it, and then that doesn't, that looks like the back side. That's got the, the lace on the front. That's so pretty. Love, 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 love. There's two of these. And I thought these would be perfect for a front and back cover of a journal. Potentially. Wouldn't that be great? Their hand, I mean, their hands stitched and crocheted. I just absolutely adore them. This is so pretty too. I love this. I love this. And I really don't know the story or if there's if there's a story behind any of these. I just know they're beautiful. And a lot of most of them are stained and you know there's imperfections all over the place and that just makes them even better to me. I I love that. This one is so pretty too. I love this. Feeling like this might be an Asian. It's definitely is it hand done? It looks like it's hand done. It's like, um, wow, if this is hand done, which most likely it is, what do they do with their ends? What in the world? It's fantastic. There's no ends sticking out, you guys. There's, there's one. Wow. Somebody is really, really good at this. <laughs> my ends would be sticking out all over the place like what there's no ends this one is so pretty too this one must go with this other set it's different it's got a different print on it but it's the same size and colors it's cute love this one this one reminds me of something I might have had in my in my bedroom when I was a little girl you know something that mom might have given me to play with or what have you I love the stitching see my ends would have looked like that on that cross stitch so cute I love the red this one is not so hand done, I'm sure, but it's still very pretty, and I'm so glad it was in there because this is going to be a fun piece to use as well. And then this one was hand done, as, as you can tell. Very lovely um, hanky, hand crocheted. Look at this one. This one is so delicate. Not pretty. I want to scan these in and um, on some of them 
scan them into the um, computer and make digitals with these too. It's just, it's such a treat to see this handwork. She used, somebody used variegated. Actually, this one may not be hand done. This one looks like it might be machine done. Well, it could be. I mean, I don't know. But it's really pretty. I love it. Love, love, love. I don't care which way. It's gorgeous. We've got a yellow hanky. And then this one. This one was one of my favorites as well. These are different. I have I have something that from my grandma that ha was white like this and had this very similar color, if not the same. It's different. She, there's something else on it. But these are little pieces of fabric that are sewn on here to make flowers. So they're like little appliques. And I just adore it. I love this piece. I think this one's my favorite. We've got this gorgeous one. It's got all the hand crocheting around the outside of it. My grandma was learning how to do that years and years and years ago before she passed. Beautiful. That one's very, very simple and very pretty. Some of them are very simple and very pretty. I think this might have been like a water bottle cover. This one has snaps on the end of it. And that's what I'm thinking this might have been. Like on a cold night, they put a warm water bottle in, in there to help maybe keep their feet warm or whatever. That's kind of what I'm thinking this might have been. I could be wrong. Maybe it was for, I, mean, I don't know. I wouldn't put lace on it if it was for cleaning. So that's what I'm kind of thinking this might have been. I think it's cute. And this one, this is also one of my favorites. This one has some holes in it, in here. I don't care. I love it. I can see this one on a journal as well with over another piece of fabric that has, that was dark and that would shine through those holes and just really show them off. And I love the crocheting around there. It's just so, so lovely. Look at this beautiful doily. Beautiful. I don't know if this was hand done. It it looks, it looks, I don't know. I don't know. Really, really pretty. And the late, tiny itty bitty lace on this one is so soft and pretty. Beautiful little hanky. My grandma used to keep hankies like that tucked into her Bible. And she always told me, never leave without a hanky in your sleeve or in your Bible or in your pocket. If you don't have pockets, you stuck it up your sleeve. And there's two of these. Love them. Love, love, love. And then this piece, it looks like, was either not finished or more likely somebody took the outside edges off of it. But look how pretty these are. Love that. Love the stitching. It's definitely been through some things. And I love that. Love that about it. It's perfect. It's perfect. This will be one of those I won't mind if I end up staining it somehow. We'll probably use that in a grungy project. But there's more. There's more, you guys. Let me grab another handful. Got some more white ones. This one has some some pink, uh, it's pink and white variegated thread that's crocheted around the outsides. Really cute. And then we've got a plain pink one and a plain teal one. And then this gorgeous one. Look at this purple one. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. I love the imperfect holes that are in it that are just probably come from use, using it, washing it, you know, all that. Love the color of this one. This is a different kind of fabric too. It's really nice and soft. And then we've got yellow with some eyelet. This one actually would work really nicely in my bedroom. I have yellow in my room that's this color. I painted the walls that color. I'm gonna keep that one out. I love that. I don't, didn't even think of that before. I love this one too. Look at that. Different fabric on there. Look pretty. 
And then there's some doilies in here. There's another one of these. This one was like that other one. Very simple. Very pretty. And then look at these. These are really cool. I don't know how to show these off best to you. Let's see. Let's put this teal one underneath. Maybe that'll help kind of show you what they look like. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? I love it. I don't know what I'm going to do with these just yet. I don't have a lot of flat surfaces in my house, so I can't really use them very easily that way. But I definitely want to uh, hold on to them. And then we've got another. There's a, I think there's a few of those. These look like they're handmade, too. There's that one. I think these, this is the same one. This is a different one. Isn't that cute? Love it. Love it, love it. I think they'd be fun to scan in on the computer, too, don't you? Be fun for backgrounds for in our papers and our journals. This one's a similar pattern, if not the same, but it feels like it's tighter. So it's not quite as loose and drapey. Let's see what this one is. Very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. These would might be fun for tea or coffee dyeing too, but I wouldn't want to ruin them as all. Well. I don't think I'd don't think I'll be doing that, probably. And this one's kind of same, the same as the others. And then let's see what else we got. We got a white one. This one has some really pretty lace on the edge there. And it looks like it's a long, it's a big piece. It got cut here on the side, but I love, I love it. This would be a great journal cover as well. Use, uh, definitely use this. And then you can always put things over it or color it. We've got this one that's like a little table runner, a long piece. Then we've got these fun ones. This is really soft, really, really soft. Where's that paper, that one again? That was working out very nicely, wasn't it? So there's a little hole in this one. That's okay. Love the design. Love the style. Isn't that pretty? And then we've got this one. I remember having some of these um, when I was younger in our house. I think we had some in our, my sister and I had some in our bedroom with the variegated uh, threads on our dresser. I feel like I've seen them in pinks and purples and blues. Love this. This would go nice in my room too. It's yellow. And then we've got this big one. This is quite a bit larger. You can see. My grandma would have used one of these um, as a pillow cover. She would have made a, a round pillow and put this on it. It's so, so lovely. So pretty. I might keep that in mind. And then this one looks like it's a shirt front, which is cool. I really like the, um, the design on it with the flowers and stuff. I can probably freshen that up and use that as a, a journal cover or two. I think we could do that or make a notebook or something out of it. Definitely do something fun with this one. See, I can see this is the spine for sure. We'll definitely be doing something fun with that. And then this one, this looks like a sleeve to me. Maybe, maybe not. It might be close. I don't know. But look at this lace down here at the bottom. Isn't that gorgeous? It looks like it's supposed to have the ribbon that goes in and out that would tie it closed. And then it's actually sewn this way here. So that's what made me think it was a sleeve because this would be up the sleeve there. This would tie it shut around your arm potentially. And then this would go with the shoulder. So it kind of go like this is what I'm thinking. I don't know, but it's really cute. And I think we're going to find something fun to make out of that too. And then this one, oh, I love this one too. Ooh, this would be a close, a close tie with the first one. 
I love this. Look at this hand stitching on here. There's a few holes on here. It's just really, really cool. It actually doesn't, it wasn't even finished. So, or maybe, maybe the stitches just came out. I don't think so though. Well, maybe because that's the knot. And I just pulled the thread out. So maybe the stitching just came out of it over the t over time. But some of it's just inked. It's not actually stitched, which is really, really neat. So that's what made me think maybe it's just not finished. But it could be just worn away. Hard to say. And then this side. See, some of these stitches are just really loose. So they could have just come out. And then this side is really loved. Which is neat, too. Isn't that so cool? You guys, what's the history behind these? I wonder how many times these beautiful ladies had used these things in their home. How many times they put them on their tables or put them out on their their bookshelves or wherever and what they've you know the stories they could tell and this is just this is a placemat it looks like that somebody's um, done stitching on not sure if that's hand done or not but it's really pretty I love it and then there's a few more just a few more we've got this really big really big tablecloth I haven't even opened this all the way up it's pretty it's pretty loved um, but I think we can get some really fun pieces out of it. And this one I'll definitely be using for coffee, coffee staining. Because I think this will be perfect for it. You see the patterns in there? So like I said, I haven't opened it up. I'm not going to unfold it now. But I think this will be perfect for that. We'll give it some new life in another way. I think it's beyond... Well, we could possibly get some pieces out for, for some um, journals. We'll see. This one is neat too. Check this out. This is a pillowcase like a sham but look at this this is all embroidered on here I'm sure it's machine done but I love the color combinations and just the um it's so delicate look at the ribbon down here it's just stunning look at the feathers and then it's got some stitching over on this side too isn't that pretty so pretty so so pretty and it's just the top piece of that pillowcase. So I'm super excited to um, have this in my stash because I know that there's going to be a project that comes along and I'm going to think that is the perfect piece. Perfect, perfect piece. And it might make great, you know, digitals. And then look, a guest towel. I love this too. So cute. Definitely hand-stitched. Guest. <laughs> And, oops, almost, I've got two pieces left. What's this one? Oh, this one is just the edge, edge piece of like a pillowcase, I think. But it's got this stitching on here. Look how beautiful. Oh, I forgot a couple pieces over here. I'll come back to those. Where is it? Look at that. We've got three three sets of this print. Can you guys see it? I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to tell, but really, really pretty. And then we've got some hand stitching that looks like this one is the back side. And my battery's going dead. Look at this. Gorgeous. And this is like a little small tablecloth. I love it. And then my battery's going dead, so I'm going really quick now. Some fabulous little runners. So you guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this Thrifty Thursday. I had so much fun. Can't wait to do the projects with it. I hope you'll hit that like and subscribe button so you'll be able to see when I do. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.